Oh. All right, so now we're going to do a little bit of a different video. Uh, we're going to talk about the the reaction we did on uh, Giga Delana, Paramore, Decode. Uh, you remember that, Ross? Maybe you do. <laughs> um, Closer would... to the mic. Your mic. Oh. Yeah. I would have to hear it. Yeah, I would have to hear it. By name, no. Yeah. But when I hear it, it'll come to me. Yeah, but I, I think... I was basically the one saying, yeah, she sings great, but I don't feel it. And hence, I, I probably right. suspect it's being pitch corrected. So so then I did, uh, I, I went back and did a pitch correction examination on it. So we're going to look at that a little bit, but we're going to so read you some. You did this after? Yeah, we after. To it. Yeah, after oh, we okay. did it. Yeah. Nice. And uh, actually, what seems to be the producer of Gigi Delana commented and we're gonna go into that uh ah. yeah very interesting very interesting uh, i i must say i really respect respect him uh but reading some of the comments <laughs> these clowns <laughs> you idiots you're judging performances with the wrong criteria uh these guys are clueless because they never heard this band perform live uh, this band started in the music industry and was discovered through performing in weddings and other events. She specializes in bossa nova and jazz. Let these two motherfuckers <laughs> be ignorant their whole lives. The, ah, yeah, this guy. Just click, don't recommend. Two clowns pretending to know something. Game over for you guys. Dumb channel. These two clowns. Game over. Game over. These two clowns are idiots. Haha, are these two clowns being serious? Um, yes, they are clowns. They don't even know Paramore. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Waste of time watching their reactions. Uh, these two reactors are used to autotune, <laughs> like what they're doing in the US. Look, look there, there, <laughs> there's a song um, that I was going to play at the beginning of our next show. Huh? It's going to be another Jay Z song. And it's going to have a lot of autotune. Also produced by Pharrell. The chorus literally says, the motivation for me is them telling me what I could not be. Oh, well. <laughs> Anyways. <continue. laughs> okay. Anyways. I need it. Yeah. This is, this is like, I'm like, this is like drinking blood if I was a vampire. Yeah. <sighs> in the Philippines, fans will ridicule a singer who uses autotune in live performances. Maybe in the US it is normal. That's what these two guys are thinking. Two fucking assholes. Do research first. Uh, you're that doesn't the most- uh, That doesn't make sense. Uh, They're mad at you for ridiculing it? I mean, I didn't ridicule it. I'm just saying I didn't feel the vocals because I suspect it being pitch corrected. That's all. So why, so why are they mad at you if they said that they don't like pitch correction well they said they don't like auto-tune yeah because they think it's not pitch corrected uh so you're the most pathetic and stupid reactor i've ever seen <laughs> what you're doing is such a big shit and the shame and the shame just goes for you and your dumb channel uh even vampire, even vampires know <laughs> Paramore and la 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 la. Waste of time watching. <laughs> Waste. Of uh, Are you okay? Yeah. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Waste of time watching these re reactors. Okay, bye. Uh, the most pathetic and dumbest reactors in YouTube. Look for another job. <laughs> Look for another job. You two have no future in vlogging. The most imbecile no future. <laughs> we have no. Did you say vlogging? Yeah, I guess this is vlogging video. Vlog. Yeah, vlogging. Vlog. Yeah. Anyway, it's just funny you say vlog. Yeah, but that was the commenter who said that. The most imbecile reactor I've watched, I've ever watched on YouTube. Close your YouTube channel. You will go. You will never go far. I even doubt you'll reach 1K. Uh, look at how negative. Look at how negative you are. <laughs> me. Yeah, you're worried about me the whole time. Am I negative? Yeah. The one who is soulless is the reactor himself. Idiot. Uh, <laughs> one dude is saying, listen to this. One dude is saying they're using pitch correction. The other dude is saying she's off pitch 15% of the time. <laughs> and you're uh, asked. <laughs> I, I even explained that. I, write, I, I, said, I said that the notes 
weren't mm. quite on. Yeah. So I said maybe it could still be pitch corrected even if she decides to go to a different note. Yeah. I'm like, but yeah, to me, it didn't seem like it was like perfect, perfectly sung to even be pitch corrected. But my opinion on pitch correction is different than yours. Yeah. I'm not looking at it from that technical aspect of it. I'm yeah. looking at it from like a very broad, just like, is it perfect or not? So it's yeah. not like I even know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And you're upfront with that. That's good. And you're asking why is she looking at the camera? What kind of a question is that? This is from a live stream. Uh, well, I mean, we did talk about that at length, but yeah, yeah we that did. was corny as shit. That's why. That was corny. I don't know what to tell you guys. The worst reactors ever reacted to Gigi. Hands down, laughter. This is one of her best performances, only to be ridiculed by these two idiots who never even heard of Paramore. Paramore. While other reactors watched in amazement, they rated Gigi's performance like 6.5 and 2. It's absolutely hilarious because they're looking right, for so, flaws. <laughs> okay, so, so, so let me ask you this. Hmm. Does it make you feel any type of way when you read that or no? No, it doesn't bother me. Right, right. But, but think about this. Yeah. Right, but think about this. Think about think about how they felt when they wrote it, right? Just imagine that. Imagine how they felt for them to write that, right? Just for a few seconds. Think about it. That's that's how the reaction made them feel. Yeah. Right. Think about it. Yeah. They're mad. Yeah. That's it. Mission accomplished. But that's how I say, I'm like mission accomplished. But listen, it's just it's just you if you're, if we're not going to be the most loved people then you want to be the most hated. You don't want to be in the middle. You don't want to be in the middle. Being in the middle is, is nothing. You either want to be the most loved, which we are not going to be, all right? But we're not. Give it up. But between me and you, what? there's no, no way not. in hell. Right? I'm like, we're not. Listen, no, Ross, no, no. Without so, so you, you. So you know listen. what we got to go for? We got to go for the most hated. It's just, it's even really, and, and, even not, without not you, Ross. Yeah, even without you, Ross, I was already the most hated reactor. And, 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 and now... But it's think about it. I'm, double. I, yeah, I'm like, I'm like I, but I was even saying that. Remember, I told you when I watched the things back, I'm like, dude, I'm like, I could just relax and comment on you because you really yeah. do be going in on the music. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You be telling but everybody this shit is trash. I want to say this though. It's not on design. I don't. I don't want to be hated. I don't think you want to be hated either. But if if speaking your mind makes you hated, then that is what it is. Right. Well, I'll tell you what. At this point, I could it could go either way for me. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Just focus on your lame pitch correction content rather than rude reactions. Anyways, so yeah, unsubscribe, unsubscribe. Even though I'm not subscribed yet. <laughs> see, see, you you know what I'm gonna do is what I'm now that I'm glad that I didn't re reply to those already because now I'm when we put this video out, I'm gonna take this video, copy it. I'm going to copy and paste it under every one of those comments. Like, responded to you in this video. Responded yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's better. You know I mean? And then they'll all come and look at it. Yes. So before we go to the producer's comments, I just want to play a little bit of my right. examination right. that I did after we reacted it's to it. It's hilarious that you have the exact same outfit on. Yeah. I just want to let you know that. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's see if Gigi Delana Twilight Decode is pitch corrected or not. Uh, so I, me and Ross on our other channel called Vince Ross React, this shit is so uh, reacted to this song, <laughs> and uh, I suspected that yeah, this is pitch corrected, but you know I couldn't say for sure, so we're gonna do it right now. But here was what I was saying, saying in that reaction right there, that Vince Ross. Ross. I accidentally, you, you don't hear it, but I accidentally said Vince Rocks reacts. Uh, <laughs> Vince Ross reacts. Possibly, yes. But the ones I've done, done are, are, uh, It's echoing because I have the speakers on, because the way I do pitch correction, I have to have the speakers right, right. on. But, but, hold on. So, this is probably, probably it as well. But I have to look at it on the other channel. Yeah, and here. Uh, what was it? To me anymore. anymore. I want to see the flaws. I want to see, see the humanity in there, you know? know? But it's but it's not, I, and also, I want to have this. It's only, only these, these last 20 years, years or so where these technologies arrive. Dude, look at you right seeing. now and look at you right there. Look, at look, 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 look. Look at what you're doing <laughs> with your beard and then look at you right there. <laughs> you don't find that funny? I'm just saying. Like, see, to me, 
to me, that shit is funny, bro, because, like, like the reason why people can never catch me up in, like, a lie or anything like that, because, like, sometimes if I don't remember exactly what I said, yeah, if you repeat back to me what I said, I'll know whether or not I said it, because I'm going to react the same way every time. Yes. It's going to be, like, I'm like, I could, I could literally, if you say the same sentence, yeah. I will have the same reaction, because it's just the, the complete honesty. Yeah. So it's funny that you're sitting there, like, doing the exact <laughs> same movements, and then you get the same outfit on. You're watching yourself, watching yourself, watching yourself. Yeah. Remember, I said my goal was to break the record. The meta stuff. Like, yeah. Yeah, we we gotta yeah we gotta get we gotta get. Well, now it's in. now it's like a triple meta stuff because now we are reacting to me reacting to that reaction. So right. Yeah. So we're, we're, we're at three times. Yeah. Now. Yeah. We gotta get the inception. Up. Yeah. Inception. Yeah. 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 Fall three performances <laughs> when they go live. live. Uh, anyways, let me skip through. Yeah. So we're gonna find out if I'm right or not. But if the vocals look similar to this, it's most likely been pitch corrected. Let's go. I put it on 125, by the way, so it's a little bit better. It's all good. Yeah. You see? I'm rarely wrong. Nine out of ten times, with my own ear, I can see that... What, what is this? That vocals are pitch corrected. Like, here is a great example. Bam. Bazam. But hey, we just started. <laughs> Bazam. <laughs> yeah. So basically, Ross, what I displayed with the keyboard before this, the keyboard is super tuned, okay? So the keyboard will show you exactly in the lines that you see, the red and the gray, that is the notes. So the keyboard, when I was playing it, it, it was straight on the notes. So what you're doing then when you're l listening to the vocals is looking for the same signs, but with the vocals. So not to go into this long, I don't want this video to go like 20 minutes, but basically I spotted parts where the vocals was flatlining those lines over there so uh, then the producer commented this i don't know if you see tritone tritone hello yes i would like to confirm that this song is indeed pitch corrected it was the first time they performed the song during a live stream and there are some note notes that isn't on point also, I would like to note that I re-recorded the band members, keyboards and the guitar parts and some bass guitar parts, but I kept the drums and the vocals. Check the guitar solo before the bridge. You, If you hear the original recording live of this song, it was a mess, but the heart was there. So I decided to re-record parts and remaster, but not on the vocals and drums. Considering this was taken live, it was the first time she, they performed the song. Uh, the band never practiced this with her, so wrong chord notes may disrupt her concentration. Uh, mistakes were meant to happen, so I corrected some notes. Also, this was manually tuned, not auto-tuned, just to clarify. And manually correcting usually takes much time. But when I mixed her vocals, it only takes minutes because she's such an amazing, amazing performer, performer with very little mistakes. Thank you also for this video. More power to you, Dishonest Composer, and more videos to come. Also, just want to add for the readers there. She never used auto-tune during streaming, editing, or live. Never used auto-tune. Uh, also, if you have the chance, can you analyze through the fire cover by Gigi Wives? Of course we can. Yeah, absolutely. I, I respond. Of course we can do that. I like to see if you can spot the fixes or even Bakiti Bar Mahal Kita challenge. So I responded. We don't need to read that. Uh, and then, so again, I just want to say I respect the hell out of the dude for this. Uh, right. He didn't need to do this. He could have been just like the rest of them. Just pretend as well, if I mean well he I mean he is promoting himself a little bit too but at the same time I will say though I appreciate him for saying that and he also confirms what I've been saying about Michael and we don't have to go deep into it now yeah but I've been saying that I'm like yeah the original performance of the concert could have been 
him singing with his real vocals and a lot of imperfections. And so when they're selling the DVDs, though, they might go in there and add some and correction it. or even just put the song over it. Yeah. They might just put the whole song over it because they're like, we're just selling DVDs. You know what yeah, I mean? you might be right. Home. You might be right. We have to look into that when we do. Michael. <laughs> I'm quite I'm quite sure I'm right. We'll see. I don't think that Michael mimed. We'll see, though. The whole 90s, all right. Yeah, so then he continues. for another time. Yeah, then he continues say, saying, yes, actually, I, I really wanted those slightly missed notes from the voices of the 70s and the 80s because here I responded that, you know, I, I, I don't do this to bash the artists. Uh, I just I just want to hear the authentic voices, even if it's out of tune, you know, out of tune. I want to hear the realness of whatever is performed. So basically he's uh, responding to that, that he also wanted that in. But anyways, so I really wanted those slightly missed notes from the voices of the 70s and the 80s. And it sounds so good for great singers. It's like they are just in front of you with all that vulnerability. And I also, and I want also to do that in most of her songs, but big but here, people nowadays don't much appreciate small mistakes, but it's what makes it human and truthful. I hope I can achieve the level of super minimal correction and it's sounding very natural in my mixing, but still we release some videos that are not corrected and not even mixed. Maybe I'll release the next covers with minimal corrections and maybe no corrections at all. Some of the classics, I think. Yes, I understand it's not to bash. And I know sometimes posts like posts like this tend to brew misunderstandings instead of it just being analyzing and partly a challenge for my ears, it becomes negative to some people. But hey, because of the video, we got to chat. And it's the first time I saw someone analyze something like this. So claps to you for you. Uh, you see, super yeah, so, cool. So basically he's saying that, that he, he's responding to the customers. Yeah, super cool right. of him to say. So, right, right, well, well, but, yeah. but, but what I'm saying is though, he's saying that when he puts out, or if they had attempted to put out stuff that has the imperfections, they deal with a lot of complaints and yeah. stuff like that. And people saying, oh, she's not that good of a singer because yeah. she messes up and they don't get it. People yeah. are used to the pitch correction. And so they think, oh, if you're not perfect, that means exactly. you're not a good singer. And so it's beneficial for her overall branding to put it in at the end. Yeah. Yeah. That's basically what he was saying. Right? Yeah, I agree. Uh, yes, exactly. That correctly. Yeah. 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 So it's like. And obviously he admired, we you know what you're doing too. So. Yeah. And I, I super respect that. And so. So yeah, maybe he's going to send me because his last comment says, yes, yeah, sure. You can send our videos as an example. No, you can use our videos as an example, and maybe I can send some of the original vocals without corrections of what you choose to review to test your ears and make it uh, a challenge for more videos. Yeah, absolutely. I say, I say let's build on that. Yeah, respect. Respect to Triton for that, and hopefully uh, I, you can send me that, and I'll check it out. But I just want people to know that I'm not, I'm not doing these things and saying these things because I want to bring people down. I Listen, even if I don't like the type of music they're doing, I do want to hear somebody's real voice. You know, I, right. I, I want to hear right, right. because that's the only way I can really make my judgment. You know, I, I want to make a ju real judgment on somebody's vocals. You know, I love yeah. Whitney Houston. I love Whitney Houston, for example. Why do I love Whitney Houston? because her vocals was real. But yeah, you got any final I, words, also, Russ? I mean, yeah. I also think it's the song too. You know me, I like I, although I agree that real vocals are better. Yeah. I disagree that, that, that you can't make good music without real vocals, you know? So we talked about that with Childish yeah. Gambino a little bit where, you know, certain people, maybe their vocals aren't all the way there, but I would rather hear the pitch corrected vocals than the nasty vocals. <laughs> <laughs> ono, yeah. Put the pitch correction on, darling. I agree. Well, you know what? What I have to, what I would say to that is, if you can't be upfront with it, then I will, you know, it will be easier for me. Like, be upfront. Yes, I use it. I, it's it's when you try to portray that it's not used, and you know. Anyways, so big respect to Triton for that, and hopefully we can. Right, and, and and of course, we would love to have you on. Absolutely. If you know, Triton, 
that will be that will be very very nice yeah to right, discuss right, right. stuff like this so especially, to, yeah i'm like especially if we're doing the pitch correction thing you know yeah like, yeah jump on and, and kind of call vince out you know what i mean like you know see like hey do you think that was pitch corrected and he'd be yeah. like yeah and he'd be like ha ah, gotcha it wasn't You're not as good as you think you are yeah right I got you on that one. Yeah. yeah maybe it's setting me yeah, up yeah. he's like all right, all right, right i'm gonna set him up but yeah right. that would be awesome triton uh but thanks for the comments anyways bazam